हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन माय लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन सम प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन स्टैंड लैपलास ट्रांसफर बेस्ड ऑन द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मूला इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू ऑफ द गिवन फंक्शन आल्सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट शिफ्टिंग प्रॉपर्टी सो फर्स्ट वील डिस्कस पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू लेट एस कंसिडर एफ ऑफ टी इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एस I hence for different values of s we get different value of l of f of t. As as I go on changing the value of s here, I am going to get different value of l of f of t. Now we will take some examples on to find the particular value. So first I will say evaluate integration zero to infinity e to the power of minus three t. T is to five into dt. So here, this is the application of Laplace transform. It is very difficult to integrate this function directly by using the methods of integration. So in such case, I am using here the Laplace transform. So I will take solution. Solution. Let To solve this example, in the first step, I will consider zero to infinity e to the power of minus s t. Instead of this three, I will take here yes. This is the important step. I will write this function e to the power of into d t as it is. So only I will change here. Instead of three, I will write here yes. So now we know that. I have written the definition here. Integration of zero to infinity e to the power of minus s t f of t into d t is equal to l of f of t. So this is the definition of Laplace transform. Now I will apply this definition to solve this integration. So I will denote. So I will write. Now see here. Here in formula we have integration zero to infinity. So in this example also we have integration zero to infinity. Here we have e to minus s t. Here also I have taken e to minus s t. In the formula we have f of t, but here here we have the function t to the power of phi. So according to that, this becomes l log. Here we have. Your law, your property. Instead of your property, here is your t to the power of phi. So it becomes t raised to phi. So this equal to. Now I will find Laplace transform of t raised to phi. So what I done here? This is the integration part. Here I am going to evaluate the integration part. I have converted this integration part to Laplace transform by using the Definition of Laplace transform. So this implies t is to phi. Here I will apply t is to n formula. That is, the law t is to n e is equal to n factorial upon s to the power n plus one. Here n is positive integer. That is phi. So this becomes zero to infinity e to the power of minus s t t is to phi. Into d t is equal to t is to phi. So it becomes phi factorial upon s to the power of six. That is value of n is here phi. So this implies one twenty upon s to six. So this is the value of integration zero to infinity e to the power of minus s t t to the power of t phi into d. So in action, but I want My question is here: We have to evaluate integration zero to infinity e to the power of minus three t t is to five into d. So for that, what I do here? I will put s equal to three on both sides. Put s equal to three. So therefore, it becomes zero to infinity e to the power of minus three t t is to five into d t is equal to One twenty upon three to the power of six. So this is the required answer.
Now similarly, we'll take one more example. That is, evaluate integration zero to infinity e to the power of minus three t cos square t into dt. So again, it is very difficult to evaluate this integration directly. So I am using here method of Laplace transform. So take solution. We take solution. So first, at the beginning, I will consider integration zero to infinity. Instead of this e to minus three t, I will take here. e is to minus s t similar to the previous example so i will write this function that is cos square t as it is into now i will apply the definition of laplace transform that is i will compare this integration with definition of laplace transform so after comparing i will get here l of cos square t l of cos square t so here up here i have compared this integration part with this standard formula of laplace transform after comparison i got laplace of cos square t so now again we have the formula for laplace of cos at but the power is here more than 1 so first i will use multiple angle formula and i will convert this function into linear power So we know that cos two theta is equal to two cos square theta minus. So therefore, two cos square theta is equal to. I will take this minus one to LHS. It becomes one plus cos two. So therefore, cos square theta is equal to one plus cos two theta divided by. So this is the value of cos square theta that is one plus cos two theta upon two. So I will use that value here. This becomes the law. I will replace cos square theta by this one. One plus cos two into t divided by two. So this implies one upon two is constant here. So the remaining is one plus cos two into t. therefore one upon two i will write as it is so here we are having two terms i will apply laplace transform to both the term separately laplace of one so i know that is one upon yes and laplace and laplace of the second one that is l of cos two t is yes upon yes square plus two so this is the value of this integration but in example my question is we have to evaluate integration zero to infinity e to power of minus 3t cos square t into dt for that what i do here i will put s equal to 3 for that i will put here s equal to 3 on both side put s equal to 3 so i will get here integration zero to infinity e to the power of minus s t sorry that is minus 3 t cos square t into t t is equal to 1 upon 2 i will write as it is 1 upon here i will put s equal to 3 this become 1 upon 3 plus 3 upon 9 plus 4 s square that is 3 square is 9 so this implies One upon two, one upon three plus this is three upon three upon thirty. So after simplifying this one, I will get here eleven upon thirty. This is the required answer of this integration. Integral. Now we will see. the first shifting property so we know that if l of f of t is equal to f of s this is the definition of laplace transform then laplace of e to the power of at into f of t is becomes f of s minus t this is the shifting property so what it indicates or what it tells if the given function is multiplied by exponential term then 
in place of s s is replaced by s minus a so this is called as for shifting property if it is here we are having minus sign that it become plus a that is laplace of e to the power of minus a t f of t is equal to f of s plus t now we take two or three examples based on for shifting property so first i will take find laplace transform of e to the power of minus 3t into t to the power of 4 solution here we can observe the given function is multiplied by exponential term therefore i am going to use here for shifting property so first i will find laplace transform of t to the power of 4 so first i will find laplace transform of t is to 4 so we have we know that this formula l of t is to n is equal to n factorial upon s to the power of n plus 1 So here the value of n is 4. I will apply that formula. So it becomes 4 factorial upon s to the power of 4 plus 1. So therefore, Laplace transform of t to the power of 4 is equal to 4 factorial value is 16 upon s to the power of 5. So this is the Laplace transform of t to the power of 4. Now I will apply shifting property here. So that is. Here the given function is multiplied by exponential term. That is, e to the power of minus three t into t to the power of four, which is equal to. Now see here. Here first in first part I have uh, I have calculated Laplace of t is to four. That is sixteen upon s is to five. Now the function is multiplied by exponential. It means here I am going to apply for shifting property. For shifting property, yeah. Sorry, I have done a small mistake. The value of four factorial is nothing but twenty-four. So now I will apply for shifting property. As for the first shifting property, s is replaced by s minus a or s plus a. Here the value of a is minus three. It becomes s plus three to the power of five by using for shifting property. So we we'll take one more example. Find the Laplace transform of e to the power of minus two t sine hyperbolic four into t. So again, this sine function, hyperbolic function, is multiplied by exponential term. Therefore, here I can apply for shifting property. Or even though we have one more method to solve this example, instead of applying shifting property, we can use here definition of hyperbolic function. After applying the definition of hyperbolic function, multiply this one with e to minus two t, then go for the Laplace transform. Now I will solve this example based on the first shifting property. So first I will find the Laplace transform of sine hyperbolic two t. So solution: let Laplace transform of sine hyperbolic four t is equal to. So we have the formula Laplace transform of sine hyperbolic a t is equal to s upon a upon s square minus b square. So this is the formula for sine hyperbolic a t. So here the value of a is four. So it becomes four upon s square minus sixteen. That is the value of four square is sixteen. Now I will apply shifting property. So actually, our given example is e to the power of minus two t sine hyperbolic four into t. So this becomes the given sine hyperbolic function is multiplied by exponential term. So I will here apply a first shifting property. As for the first shifting property, the value of a is replaced by s plus a, that is s plus two square. Minus 60. So this is the required answer. So we'll take one more example. 
find Laplace transform of cos hyperbolic 2t into cos theta. So here we are having the product of one hyperbolic function and trigonometry function. First I will simplify this one, then I will go for the proof. So let let L of cos hyperbolic 2t into cos 2t. So we will write the definition of hyperbolic function here. So that is the law. We know that cos hyperbolic a is equal to e to the power of a plus e to the power of minus a upon 2. So I will use that definition of hyperbolic function here. As per the definition, so I will get here e to the power of 2t plus e to the power of minus 2t divided by 2. So this is the value of cos hyperbolic 2t and I will write here cos 2t as it is. So this implies here 1 upon 2 is constant I will write outside the Laplace sign L of so I will multiply this cos 2t to both the terms it becomes e to the power of 2t into cos 2t plus e to the power of minus 2t into cos 2t. So this implies 1 upon 2 I will write as it is. Here I will apply linear property. So Laplace of the first function and Laplace of the second function. That is L of e to the power of 2t cos 2t plus L of e to the power of minus 2t into cos 2t. Here we are having product of exponential and trigonometry. So the second term exponential is multiplied by sorry trigonometry function is multiplied by exponential term. So First I will find the Laplace of cos 2t, then I will apply the first shifting property. So I will write directly here, 1 upon 2, I will write as it is. We know that the Laplace of cos 2t is nothing but s upon s square plus 4. So after applying the shifting property, s is replaced by s minus a. So I will write here, s minus 2 upon s minus 2 square plus 4 plus again here we are having product of two functions the second term is multiplied by exponential term here also I will apply for shifting property so we know that Laplace of cos 2t is s upon s square plus 4 and here a is here a s is replaced by s plus 2 that is s plus 2 upon s plus 2 whole square plus 4 by using first shifting properties. 